a MAC eyeshadow collection video requested by Toya. Hi Toya. Um, I listed, well, I did swatches and tried to mention where applicable if the video, the eyeshadow was discontinued or not. So, um, a lot of them are limited edition, but you may be able to find them at a CCO. So, um, comment, rate, and subscribe. And now we're about to start the video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, this is my MAC collection of eyeshadows. I have a palette that I basically, I think it holds like 16. And now it holds 24. I just took out, this, this is the old palette, by the way. This is, it looks like that. Um, and it doesn't have the clear top. But um, I'm not going to get a new one just because they have the newer version of it when this one works fine. I really don't travel with this. If you travel a lot, I wouldn't suggest this palette. But maybe, well actually the newer ones you can get that are better. But these are the colors. I used to be a really big color person, but now I do more neutrals. But I do try to play with these as often as I can. As you can see, some of them are well loved. But that's that palette. Then I have two um quads that have four palettes in it this was in the i think laza and nelly collection is really old but i love it because it has basic neutrals in it and then this palette is one of a newer palette and i have almost filled it up this one i i've never seen this before in the store but this one i got at a cco a few years ago and it has two it's a duo and I love this. It has pretty sparkle in it. And I'll go into the names of it. And then I have one potted shadow that I just got that I love to take with me on travel. And I won't be depotting this one. So this one is Naked Lunch. This is a, is Brulee. <laughs> this is Brulee. It is a great highlight color or blending out color I don't know if that's going to focus but brulee is just a natural finish and this one is there you go and it's just um it's not it's blanc type I love blanc type because it's similar to, similar to brulee but it is is more pink toned you can't really tell right here but um yeah, this is Blanc type, and it's a little brighter. I guess it's more white without being too white. That's Blanc type. I think this one is, is discontinued. I got this one at a CCO, but I can't remember the name of it, like Sunflower or something like that. And that's that one right there. I can't remember the name of this one. See, that's what happens when you depot them on your own and you lose, lose what they... The name off the back of oh, space and this one is discontinued as well. It was like, well it's not discontinued, discontinued, it was limited edition. So that's time and space. This beautiful color. Similar to one of the colors in the Naked palette. This color is Satin Taupe. It's a cult, it's a cult favorite. It's just a gorgeous color, lid color. And that's how it looks on me. So that's Satin Taupe. It's a pretty taupe is corduroy and that's what it looks like it's not going to show up on my skin tone but it's a good blending color or transition color this one either but it's a green it's similar to satin taupe and that's what it looks like i will put the name underneath it what it is but because i can't remember what it's called right now it's um a really pretty like pearlescent color this is Paradisco. It's a beautiful coral peach pink color. It's kind of like the eyeshadow version of NARS Orgasm to me. It's very pretty. And that's it right there. Focus state. This is, I believe, Copper Ring. It's very pretty, highly pigmented. I'm not sure of the, I think it's a frost or velvet finish. That's it right there. I don't really use that one much. This is soft brown. It's a matte. It's a great transition or natural like highlighting color. You, you can barely see it. This is expensive pink. 
it's a velux pearl and it's gorgeous beautiful color that's the color right there but this one is cd cd pink no cd pearl and it's a frost i mean it is really frosty so i don't really use it that much but it's in the pan it looks purple but when you swatch it it's like a pink purple it's pretty I think it, it looks really pretty when you mix dark purples with it. This uh, next color is Pink Freeze and it's a frost. It's more, um, has more frost to it than the CD Pearl. It pulls more white, but in real life, it's a pretty lilac color. This one is Swish. It's a frost. It's a very popular color as well. And it's beautiful. It's so velvety. And that's a swatch of that. Tempting is a beautiful gold color. That's it right there. This is Coquette. And it's a gray matte. Not sure why I bought this one. I thought it was getting some people were talking about it and I got it. But I don't wear it very often. Because it pulls more green tone to me. More than gray. This one is Leisure Time and it's a Velux Pearl. It's beautiful. Not sure if the oh my god, isn't that pretty? This is Black Tide and you can see as well. Love, I've hit pan on it. And Black Tide is a velvet and it's glittery, but when you blend it out, it doesn't show glitter. This one I love. I don't know if they still make this. It's Stars and Rockets and Stars and Rockets is a um. A Velux Pearl finish. I really like that pearl back in the day. But that's pretty. This looks similar to um, MAC Pigment they used to make. They are more and it's a frost. It's a purple. That's it right there. The Pro Store and this color is Indian Ink. It's beautiful. It's that dark purple right here. I think it's a matte to finish. From the violet and it's a frost. It's a beautiful color. <laughs> it's probably similar to the other purples that I have. But it looks lighter. It's this one. I love this one. This one is Shadowy Lady. As you can see. And it is a matte. And basically Shadowy Lady is described as almost black. It's just purple. See? It's a really dark purple. I love contrast. Contrast is a velvet and it's a beautiful blue that's almost black. It looks really good on smoky eyes. That color. There it goes. It's gorgeous and it has a little shimmer to it. Finally out of this palette, this is typographic. I love it. It's a gray black and it's a matte as well. It's a gorgeous color. Part is the Pink and I'm not. Sh I think I think these were exclusive to this palette. And this is Showstopper Performance and Taupe Note. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna just show you. This is they're just all mattes. And and they're all pigments. These are easy to remove. I just removed it using this little semicircle corner right here. But this is the almost completed quad that I have. And this is a sketch. I'm not really impressed by this color. I thought I would like it more than I do. But it's okay. This is brown script. It is a gorgeous blending color. It's right there. A little bit goes a very long way. And I got a CCO so I didn't put the name on it. But it's like a bright orange. I just love the sparkle and eyeshadow sweet. So they just um, close it like that and you push it out. So it's a pretty green and pretty pink. The frost, it's a gorgeous color. So smooth and velvety. And that's what it looks like, isn't it? Oh, I love it.